welcome again to your at-home yoga practice. So take a moment to get seated. So finding your sitting bones down on the ground and just let the sitting bones become really heavy and the pelvis become really heavy and then start reaching the crown of the head all the way up towards the ceiling. So hands are down onto your legs, palms of the hands down just start to become heavy through the upper legs, the elbows, the shoulders, and then your eyelids as you close your eyes. So, welcome home. Welcome onto the mat, writhing in the body. And just taking a moment here to settle in. Start drawing your attention inwards and start to notice how you feel. So your at-home yoga practice is such a beautiful way to practice. You don't have to do anything. You can arrive in your PJs and with crazy hair. You still get all the benefits or especially get all the benefits. So start to soften your jaw. And just really anchor down into the present moment. Start to anchor into your breath. Notice the natural ebb and flow of your breathing. Just calming the breathing down. And then really start to notice what's going on in your body. Noticing any tension, noticing any places in the body that might feel a little tight. So just really aligning with what is. Bring your hands into a prayer, connecting the palms of the hands together. And just for bringing the palms of the hands together in this namaste shape, we kind of acknowledge the best version of ourself or the true version of ourself. So that means come as you are, you don't have to change anything. Whether you're feeling particularly great today or particularly crappy. Just checking in. And then allow the corners of the mouth to lift. And just take your head back on top of your spine, reaching the crown of the head all the way up. And then open your eyes as you send your arms out left to right, bringing the palms of the hands down. And I really press down through the palms of the hands. So almost as if you're pressing down into the earth from here. And then breathe in as you pull your pinkies back just a bit more. And exhale as you bring your thumbs forward just a bit more. Breathing in. Exhaling out. And then flip the palms of the hands all the way up. Breathe in to bring the palms of the hands up. Turn the palms of the hands down. And now exhale really root down through your sitting bones. Root down through the palms of your hands. So this is called angel arms. Breathe in as you open and lift up and now exhale out through the mouth, pull the lower belly in and really root down. So breathe in, in and exhale down. Breathe in, in, exhale down. And just one more, breathing in, in, exhale out, then bring your hands down onto your legs, close your eyes, now take a deep breath in, lift your heart, and as you exhale, think about exhaling out all the way down into the core of the earth. Breathe in, lift your heart, 
exhale all the way down, grounding down. Once more, take a deep breath in. And exhale out. And then open your eyes, breathe in, float the arms all the way up. Turn the palms of the hands forward, and as you exhale, roll onto all fours, hands and knees. Take a moment to center yourself onto the mat. So align your knees with your hips, your wrists with your shoulders, and now curl your toes under. Really press into your fingertips, press into your toes. The crown of the head reaches forward as the sitting bones spread out left to right. Now take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, say, Breathe in once more. Really feel the lower belly pulling in. Breathe in. Exhale, say. Now keep that lower belly pulling in as we lift the knees up. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees down. Now walk your hands forward just a step. So really root down through your hands, through your, through your fingertips. Rotate the shoulders out. Now keep lifting the lower belly in. Pull up from your tailbone. And then start to drop your heels down. So really anchoring down, rooting down through the heels. Feel the extension in the backs of your legs. And just take a moment here to bring the heels down one at a time. So finding more space into the back body. Taking a moment here to really connect to the breath. So breathing in and out through your nose that deep Ujjayi breathing, that Darth Vader breathing. And then return to center, bend your knees really generously, look over to the front edge of the mat, keep rolling those shoulders out. Now we're just going to step the right foot over to the right thumb. So maybe that's a really fluid movement for you, maybe it's not at all. Just make sure it arrives here, and then breathe in as you reach the crown of the head all the way forward. And exhale as you drop down onto your left knee, flip onto the top of your left foot, and then really root down through that left big toe. So feel the length from that left big toe all the way up to the crown of the head. Now just let your fingertips hover as you root down into the floor. And then bring your hands into a prayer. Now sometimes the tendency is to kind of let it all hang hang out here but see if you can really pull back through that right hip press the left hip forward lift your heart up to your thumbs and then let the shoulders set down into the back body so opening up through the front body but really rounding down softening down through the back body and then once again just find a deep breath in and as you exhale bring both hands down into the floor curl the left toes under Breathe in as you lift the left knee all the way up. Now grip the mat with your fingertips as you slide back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe here. Align your ears with your upper arms, creating lots of space in the upper back. And maybe keep your knees bent, or maybe allow the heels to become really heavy. Really smooth, silky smooth breath. And then bend your legs, bring your gaze over to the front edge of the mat as you step your left foot up to your left thumb. So making sure it arrives. Breathe in to bring the gaze forward, heart forward, and then as you exhale, drop the right knee down to the floor. Come onto the top of your right foot, and then really magnetize those inner thighs so they're hugging in towards each other. Now, even though you can't really tell, you're working here. So really press away from the mat for your left foot, for your right foot, and then float the hands into a prayer. Lift your heart all the way up. Just drop the shoulders down. So just keep noticing, sticking with the breath, calming the nervous system as we deepen and smooth out the breathing. Relaxing through the jaw, maybe even becoming shiny and happy through the face. Okay, one more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down to the floor, curl the right toes under, 
Breathe in to lift the right knee all the way up. And then as you exhale, once again, just shift back into downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Bring your gaze over to the front edge of the mat. Step your right foot up to your right thumb. Same thing as we've done before. But this time we're going to lower the left heel down into the floor. So really root into that back edge of your left foot. Press into your right foot. And then send your left arm out as if you're reaching to catch someone's hand. So imagining someone you really like here, reach out to them. And then breathe in as you pull yourself all the way up, coming into warrior two. So this is a really grounding posture. So think about pulling the right hip into the right hip socket and stay really strong through the back of your left leg. Now, once again, think about pressing down into the floor. So press the palms of the hands down, feel the heart lift up, spiraling up to the crown of the head. So think about those elfin ears reaching up to the ceiling. And then really bend that right leg. So aligning your right knee with your right ankle, keep pressing down into the back edge of your left foot. And just once again, bring your gaze over your right fingertips and everything is in warrior here, except your face. So soften your face. And now breathe in, straighten your right leg, straighten your arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, root back down into warrior two. Twice more, breathe in to lift up. So really pulling energy up from the earth, exhaling to press it down. Once more, take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Now we're going to windmill the left arm over the head, lifting the left heel, coming back into your low lunge. Take a deep breath in here. Really bring the gaze forward. Maybe lift the fingertips up. And then as you exhale, shift into downward facing dog. And now take a really deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, say, breathe in through your nose. Exhale, say, final one, take a deep breath in. And exhale, breathe in, bend your legs. Now step your left foot up towards your left thumb. So making sure it arrives. Take a deep breath in as you reach the crown of the head all the way forward. And then as you exhale, drop your right heel down to the floor. So really pressing into the back edge of that right foot. So really strengthening through the right inner thigh. And reach the right fingertips all the way out. So really reaching, reaching, feel that extension through the right side body. And then press down into the floor. So ground down to lift yourself up, coming all the way into warrior two. Press down through the palms of your hands. Pull your pinkies back, thumbs are reaching forward. Now keep pulling energy up through the arches of your feet as you lift up to the crown of the head. Take a really deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, maybe grounding down into the po pose, <clears throat> into the pose even more. And then flip the palms of the hands up, breathe in. Extend the legs, extend the arms. So I'm grabbing hold of my lamp here. And then as you exhale, lower it down. Breathe in, lift it up. And then exhale, really grounding down. So connecting to that inner strength, that inner support system. Breathing in. And exhale out. Okay, bring your gaze over your left fingertips. Then take the right arm up and overhead. So lifting up through the right heel, raining it down. Then take a deep breath in as you reach the crown of the head all the way forward. And exhaling, shift into downward facing dog. Okay, breathe in through the nose. Exhale, say. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale, say. Once more, breathe in through the nose. And this time, as you exhale, drop your knees down to the floor. Keep your toes curled under and just walk your hands up, landing with your hips, your bottom onto your heels. Breathe in, send your arms out left to right. 
And then as you exhale, bring the arms all the way down to the floor, taking a moment to interlace your hands behind your lower back. Breathe in, lift the rib cage, but keep those hips really heavy. So opening through the feet, the chest, and then exhale, break free. Bring your fingertips out in front. We're going to lift the knees and come into a yogi squat. So bring your toes over the long sides of the mat. Now this pose isn't available to all bodies. So take a moment to feel it out. Maybe you want to keep your heels down. Uh, <clears throat> maybe you can bring your heels down. Maybe you want to keep them lifted. So just take a moment to find your version of a yogi squat and then bring the palms of the hands together. Press your elbows into your legs and really press back through the legs. So it's kind of a push and pull. Then really reach the crown of the head all the way up to the ceiling. So you're pressing down into your feet. So you've got those little arches underneath the soles of your feet. You're pulling them up so your legs are super active. So some people can just do anything here. So for some bodies, this pose is just heaven. And for others, it is not. So if you need to adjust, you're welcome to adjust. But just let the shoulders slide down the back. Keep breathing, keep the neck long, soften your gaze, soften your crown. As we take one more breath, rooting down. Really grounding pose. And then bring your fingertips down into the floor. Think about being lifted up from your tailbone as you lift into a forward fold. Bring your feet slightly wider than your hips. Take a really generous bend into the legs. And just take a moment to take hold of your elbows, align your ears with your upper arms and sway from side to side. Now let go of that bind. As you press into your feet, walk your feet in line with your sitting bones and roll yourself all the way up. So one vertebra at a time. So keep drawing energy up through the feet. So really waking up through the legs, the pelvic muscles, unraveling through the spine and finally bringing the crown of the head all the way up to the ceiling. Relax the shoulders down, notice how the blood flows out of the head again. And then take a moment to close your eyes. Feel that grounding down. So you're shooting roots down through the feet. Let's take a moment to breathe here. So feeling grounded, feeling at home in your body and your surroundings. It's really also about being in the present moment and not struggling against the present moment, but just noticing what's going on. So there is an invitation here to really feel what's going on and then whatever it is, whether you're feeling great or not, just allow the corners of the mouth to lift. And then open your eyes, breathing in to float the arms all the way up. And we're just going to end here re-energizing. So press down through the ball joints of your feet to lift your heels. And then as you exhale, let everything go. <sighs> Breathe in to lift. And exhale to let it go. <sighs> so breathe in to lift. Now think about just shooting little droplets of water off of your fingers. <sighs> and then breathe in, come all the way up. Bring the palms of the hands together. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to your heart, lift your heart up to your thumbs, and let the shoulders soften. Okay, close your eyes. Take a moment to notice. Maybe taking something with you up off the mat and into the real yoga. Okay, flutter the eyes open. And your thumbs up to that third eye point in between the eyebrows as we take a really deep bow down. Great job. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.